Hello scientists, I'll be drawing some epithelium cells in PowerPoint. I usually don't draw in PowerPoint because it is not designed as a graphic design software. If you guys ask for it, then I will try my best to draw them in the software that suits you the best. Because I know a lot of you guys don't have Adobe Illustrator subscriptions. And as you guys can see, I'm still in Taipei. This is not my typical studio setting. So I'm quite uncomfortable to make new videos. I'm really concerned about the audio. I don't have the high and microphone you might be able to hear the rain but once i return to amsterdam in october i can start pumping out contents as usual i will also start doing more live streams from october on i will be streaming both in inkscape and in other illustrator i will be doing two live streams i will post more details about the live stream schedules on my social media so make sure you follow my social media then you will be able to keep up with my announcements that's enough talking let's get into the tutorial we need to grab the round cornered rectangle and draw it like this let's make some more round corner rectangles it should go in this direction drag this yellow node all the way to the center so you can fully round the side of your rectangle now let's make some copies of this i'll make them a little a little bit longer and i will open the range tab and i can equally distribute them horizontally let me just like extend it a little bit beyond the slide select all of these parts and then go to shape format and click on union to merge all these shapes and now we can right click on this and we also need to smoothen these points right click on it smooth point right click on it smooth point same goes here Okay, now we can give it a radial gradient, a fill, gradient fill, but we don't want blue in here. We want something like this, a light orange. The outline color, dark gray. Let's make a nucleus, something like this, you know, and great, I could. Wow, this orange so dirty. There you go. This is better. We can remove the outline of the nucleus. No line. There we go. Okay, now shrink it down a little bit. Make a few copies of it. The inner lumen part. We can quickly draw a rectangle like this and then send it to the back. And this can have a something like this reddish orange but not too saturated like this it needs to be very light where is more color you can find that color you need there you go I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial in PowerPoint. Even though we can draw some structures in PowerPoint, I still would recommend you to learn Inkscape. Once you get into it, you will find that it is so much easier to use Inkscape. And it is 100% free, it's open source, and you can keep the copyright of your images. So check out my beginner course in the link in the description. Next week, I will post a video about drawing curve little bit by layer. Many of you want to draw it in PowerPoint, but it is really difficult. So I will draw it in Inkscape and then export it into PowerPoint. I'll show you guys how to export it into PowerPoint in next week's video. I will see you then.